A final farewell to the 9-11 Tribute Museum in Lower Manhattan. They'll be closing their doors for good at the end of the day tomorrow. But even with the sad news, the museum is making sure that people will still have access to its collections. Fox Eyes Anton Lewis has details on the next steps. The sign in front of the 9-11 Tribute Museum says open, but soon that will no longer be the case. Barring a last minute miracle, the museum will close its doors on Wednesday. Purely financial at this point, but through COVID, the visitors just aren't back at this point, and we can't find a path forward without financial support. The museum opened in 2006. Unlike the better known National September 11 Memorial Museum nearby, which honors the lives of those killed that day, this museum also pays tribute to the survivors and loved ones of those who died. Survivors like Peter Bitwinski, who was a docent at the museum and was working on the 69th floor of Tower One that morning. I did not see the plane approach the building, but it, the impact threw me onto my desk and the next one to two minutes were the longest in my life. There, that's me right there. And Gordon Huey, known within the 9-11 community as a triple. I'm a survivor of Tower Two. My sister died on the 106th floor of Tower One. And the third thing is I'm a rescue worker. The scores of artifacts, building remnants, and other memorabilia will now be housed at the New York State Museum in Albany. The 9-11 Tribute Museum will maintain a presence online, but co-founder and retired FDNY firefighter Lee Ielpi, who lost his firefighter son Jonathan that day, says it just won't be the same. Here, it's first-hand knowledge, first-hand experience for the people that come from all around the world uh, to understand what happened here. And again, who better to tell you? than those that experienced, that lived it. From Lower Manhattan, Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News.